welcome to Most Haunted Extra. We've just arrived at Chatham Dockyard. Another great location for Most Haunted. First impressions, very, very nice indeed. I'm very impressed. It's probably the biggest location I've ever worked on when regarding Most Haunted. It's freezing outside. It's absolutely bitterly freezing. The wind's so cold. It's absolutely freezing outside. Um, I don't know what I expected. I expected um, an area, obviously, of Dockland. Um, and didn't expect the vastness of the building that we're actually in. It's um, the Comms House. And it's a big Queen Anne house built in 1702. But of course there was a house here hundreds of years before that. Brilliant house. Um, don't really feel scared at all. I'm, I don't feel scared. I don't feel uh, uncomfortable. Um, there isn't that sort of ambience that um, <clears throat> This place is haunted. I can see this place taking a whole new meaning of life on when it goes dark. Now, I know I say this every time I do this to the camera, but there's just something different about this place. There's many places in this house um, that has, have really strange feelings to them. You'll go in one room and it'll be quite pleasant and homely and decorated. And then you'll go into another room, and it seems um, it seems you know abandoned. Here, the the commissioner's house where we are right now, that's got so many ghost sightings. We've got a headless drummer boy, which uh, I do. Uh, I can't wait to try and find. I'm looking forward. I must admit to doing the vigils later, and the prospect of actually catching some poltergeist activity on camera um, seems to be pretty high here, um, according to some of the people I've already spoken to. This location's bugging me because you're walking around and you feel as though you're being watched. Uh, I would imagine at night it's, it's going to be very spooky. Your torch is not going to shine very far in a place like that. It's great. I love it. You know, I'm loving every second of this location. I really am. I think there's going to be a few uh, spooky screams going on. Um, uh, if it's... Uh, uh, um, probably from the, uh, from the crew, if, if not the ghosts. It's a fascinating place, it is enormous. You can really sense a, a, a history here. Um, I guess there was things going on here uh, actually not that long ago. We've got um, three locations that we're spending the next 24 hours in. All of them have a story to tell and one of them is supposed to be quite a frightening place with an evil entity. So who knows what's going to happen. Um, so far everybody's feeling happy, everybody feels fine, but what's going to happen later on, don't know. My gut reaction is that um, I don't think much is going to happen tonight. Not to me anyway. It's going to be good fun tonight, it's going to be great fun later on. We've got a lot to do, a lot to cover, um, and I've got to get off to make sure that we cover it, um, so you can see it. Right, well, I'm about to uh, go off and have a look around the house on my own. Um, I feel fine because it's daylight, but apparently it's very haunted, this place. Uh, One Ghost Society is actually called it the fifth most haunted house in Great Britain, so we'll see. Ooh, this looks really horrible. Derelict type. This is a really creepy room. It doesn't feel very nice. So it'd be interesting to find out, you know, how it's um, going to feel later on. But you know, all the ceilings are kind of, un you know, not very level. So it will be, uh, I know I'll be frightened tonight in this room. It's, I can see what's, uh, I can see what's gonna happen here, which is basically, everybody's gonna want to come up here. Mm. Um, and do this bit because it could be all eerie and kind of not very nice. And this is where most activity occurs, isn't it, up on this yeah. floor? And this is the old servants' quarters. Yeah. Um, there are other areas, though, that are, I think, a lot more scary. Where? Um, the joiner's workshop. Oh, I've not been there yet. You've not been there? Yeah. That's, I can imagine that being at night. Not a nice nice place to okay. be. I was apprehensive as it was. Little did I know I was about to experience a place that truly terrified me. The joiner's workshop. Do you realise if we actually...
actually heard something like a man's voice going, get out. Okay. It, it, no, it, it would really mess me up for years, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's beyond your own. No, I'm absolutely... I couldn't sleep at night. I'd be absolutely <laughs> petrified. I couldn't, if I heard that, that to me would be so disturbing. I'm serious. It, it really would. Come on, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're in the wrong job, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've just finished my first vigil with Richard Felix, um, Phil, myself and Tom. And we went up to the joiners' workshop and it was absolutely terrifying. Yvette was very, very, very jumpy. She was really affected by the place. Having Yvette with you as well, we've got three scaredy cats because Phil's scared of the dark, I'm scared of ghosts and Yvette's scared of her own shadow. I have never been so terrified in my life. It's one of the most frightening places I've been into for a long time. I feel very embarrassed now because uh, I made a complete plonker out of myself. I nearly wet myself and I'm not joking. We were all pretty perturbed by it all. I mean, it's very, it feels really big, it's very dark, but then there are windows there and you, but it just casts weird shadows everywhere. It's spooky. The wind was howling and of course it was making noises over there and it's just the right ingredients. I was nearly crying and um, the wind was just making such horrific noises. Um, it was so black in there, there were shadows, I could have sworn I saw a shadow move behind Richard. The way the shadows are cast in that place, you've got, you've got lighting from like outside lights, you've got cars, car lights, different coloured lights from outside, casting amazing shadows. And of course when you walk around the place, that affects the shadows, it affects how the light comes through the windows. On top of that, you've really got lots of winds, there's, there's broken windows, wind comes in, it's lifting the roof. Um, it's a sort of place that I think any normal person going in there could easily see something that, that, that spooks them, that makes them feel uncomfortable, because it's just a weird environment. I can't explain how frightening it was. It really, really was terrifying. Why would a ghost be there? Um, you know, do environments that have lots of wind and, and sounds and funny light, you know, does it... Does that mean that that tends to be a place where ghosts collect? Um, or is it just meaning that that's a place that people would tend to see strange phenomena? And that's what I'm sort of wrestling with. I mean, it makes me feel weird going in there. I'm not denying that for a, for a moment. So, I'll never forget that. That was horrible. Um, and you won't get me back in there unless I am persuaded. Um, and we go with lots of other people. But whether we really, really saw anything that, that could be attributed to a ghost, I really cannot say hand on heart that there was anything that happened that to me said that was a ghost. Um, and yet the, the fear factor, the, the reaction from, from us all, would suggest there was a ghost there. Is it all up in here? Um, I think it probably is, frankly. I found it very scary. I didn't like it and I was very, very glad to get out of there. And I don't think I'll be going back there. Certainly not on my own, thank you very much. I'm wrestling with it not to go on my own. Is he insane? See, if I really believed in what I said, I'd just do it, wouldn't I? Why would anybody want to go and put themselves going into a haunted place so frightening as that? Yeah, well... We'll see. I am getting worse um, as the, pro the more programmes we do. Everybody would think I'd be getting better, but I'm not. I'm getting worse and I'm quite worried about it. So it's just a dark shadow? Yeah. And, uh, but people sense that it's ominous presence. Yeah. And they don't like... <gasps> what's, the matter? what's the matter with it? Oh, fuck, fuck, something like that, I swear to God. Tom's there. Uh, no, I no, no, heard no. a rustling and a shuffling sound behind me. I'm not joking. I if there is something in here... Um, and I think it's because the amount of things that I've witnessed, I've seen, I've heard noises, I've seen Derek being possessed so many times, I've 
I've, I've been touched, I've, 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 just too many things. And I think if I was to be on my own and something happened to me um, where some voice was heard or I saw something so definite, I think, I, honest to God, I think I would have a heart attack and drop down dead. We just ask you to manifest yourself in front of us now. Shh, shh, shh. calm, calm. Show yourself. Calm it's down. It's only the wind. It's only the wind. Calm it's down. It's just wind, that's all. Or, either that, I wouldn't be able to sleep for months and months and months because it would affect me. So I'm so frightened of that that I, I can't do anything on my own at the moment. And I'm, it's almost like I've got to start all over again and try and build up my confidence. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Go on, get the giggles. I can't, I can't, I'm can't too scared. I think I might. It is horrible. I think I might pee my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've lost the plot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I've had enough. I've decided to go upstairs to the attic rooms. Um, I just have a vigil on my own. Um, I've just done my first uh, my first vigil on my own. I um, I've been upstairs into the attic here in the commissioner's house. When I first got upstairs, there were um, or in the first room there was quite a few light anomalies. I've got to look closer at them to see if they were dust, but there were quite a few light anomalies. Um, so I spent some time walking into those light anomalies, to where they came from. And that's when I started hearing bangs and knocks from um, one of the other rooms. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Right. Sorry, sorry, um, okay, I've just heard a noise coming from this direction, I'm sure it's this direction, um, fuck, I'm on my own, uh, um, really weird, I'm very sceptical about uh, ghosts now, um, but there was definitely, definitely some knocking sounds and some dragging sounds coming from a cupboard. Uh, I opened, the, both the cupboard doors were locked from the outside. Uh, I opened one thinking that possibly a rat or something would come out, but it didn't. There was nothing in there. I opened the cupboard next door, there was nothing in there either. I shut them both, locked them both. Again, I heard another noise coming from them. Uh, there is no other entrance or exits to those cupboards. Make of that what you will. I, I don't know what it was. Um, it was more than just settlement movements of, of the building. Um, there was something definite, and it seemed to happen when I asked for it, which I thought was quite quite strange. That that happens sometimes, but not usually as uh, definite as, as what I heard. But very frightening, um, but also invigorating. There's a lot of noise outside. Fuck! Shit! Right, that came from here. Where the... Oh, if a mouse comes out of here, I'm gonna run like buggery anyway. Oh, the shells. Focus in there. I keep hearing sounds. I've, I've heard it from um, from the cupboard in this room, um, and it's like I've just heard a like a step out the f out here. I don't know if it's this room or the other rooms.
Please try to show yourself to me. If you do, I'll probably shit myself, but there you go. There's only one from here screaming. Please. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Fucking hell. The door just went shut. Oh. I really feel like something's here. Just scared me because the door shut. I can't. I can't hear where the sounds come. There, there are sounds up here, but I can't. I, I just can't pinpoint where they are. Right. Well, I'm going to go now. I think I've done all right on my own, actually. Is there anybody here in this room? Please try harder. You're not trying hard enough. We can't hear you. You can see our energy force. You can see it. Look for the light. See all this energy. It's here for you. Use it. Use it as best you can to try and communicate with us. Well, we've just finished doing the... Um a seance um, with Derek and it was a very peculiar um, <laughs> time that we spent up in the attic. It was awful. That was something special. That was interesting. It was quite frightening actually. I'm not sure at all what to think of it. It was all very peculiar, very, very strange. I, mean, I must be honest with you, I was, I was almost falling asleep and then all of a sudden Derek gets possessed by this evil woman that, that actually came through earlier up there, Lizzie, the woman that hates children. Uh, whereupon he was very aggressive towards certain members of the crew and spat at John and kept telling him to F off. I was more worried about him stepping on a camera um, and spitting in my face and he did use a lot of bad language. It was very sensational from my point of view. And then I thought, well, it's about time we tried to do something about this woman because she's obviously there for a reason, so I tried to reason with her. Derek then lunged forward at Richard. Yeah. If anything, it made me jump out of my skin. And he stuck his face right into mine. And there's a thing called transfiguration. And I actually wasn't too frightened, but as I looked into his face, I wasn't looking into Derek's face. I was looking into another rather evil looking face and I found that very, very unnerving. I was a little bit, I was scared to wonder, wondering what he would do. Would he turn around and get me? You know, how would he react? We were talking to him as if he was, you know, he'd taken on this sort of demon. Um, and when we, when uh, Yvette tried to um, calm him down or maybe try and uh, get him to sort of leave this sort of spiritual entity and come back to uh, to normal, back to Earth. Um, it happened very sort of pretty quickly. I think that's to the that's put quite an end to the uh, to the vigils for tonight. The thing that I'm starting to notice and I'm really concerned for Derek about is the fact that Sam, his spirit guide, doesn't seem to be offering as much protection as he probably should do to Derek. The, the possession is starting to get, um, to me I feel it's starting to get, um, becoming a health and safety issue. I've, I've noticed that Derek is having deeper um, trance or possession sessions if you like and um, for me to see you know, a friend and a colleague who I work with um, going through that is, is a bit concerning. We really want something to happen in the seances and we really wish that, you know, spirits will appear but at the moment I'm going to have to safely say that I don't wish them to appear through Derek. I was pushed right back, absolutely further than ever. 
Mm. Yeah, she was swearing at all of us and spitting mm. at John and yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a bad one. Is she gone now? She's still listening. She's still listening. Yeah. 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 Does anybody want to carry on, or do you want to call it? Oh. What do you want to do, guys? Can I step out of it? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Otherwise, what I'll do you want to do? Should we call it? Yeah. 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 a very very interesting evening uh, certain things happened not as fantastic as I thought it was going to be um, which is a slight disappointment but very very enjoyable I know the crew had a really good time um, and uh, is it haunted I don't know <laughs> um, there's too many ghost sightings here too many people have witnessed things so something strange is going on whether it be um, hauntings, I, I have no idea whether there'd be ghosts here, I don't know, but we certainly didn't see any. We're done. Uh, it's been quite an interesting night, um, for many reasons. Uh, unfortunately, still no ghosts, but who knows, maybe on the next one. So anyway, until the next time I'm Most Haunted Extra, I am going to bed. So until then, I shall see you soon. Hope you have a good night's sleep. Night. <laughs>